guys. Um, so I thought for my first training video uh, on YouTube, I would show you guys two exercises that I do to really try and target my glutes. Um, one is a Bulgarian split squat, which is a really good way to try and get your glutes to fire as opposed to uh, your quads, and I'll show you why in the video. And the other exercise is a hip thrust. Um, I'll show you how and why I do them the way that I do them in the video. Um, now, these videos I filmed and put up on Instagram, so I put text over them um, explaining why I do them, how I do them, and what my tips are which I will talk you through um, as the videos progress. Um, and so, yeah, we'll start with the Bulgarian split squat. So, as I said, um, I prefer doing Bulgarian split squats for glutes um, much better than doing standard squats for glutes. I find it a lot easier to target the glute and take the weight off the quad. Um, so my tips here would be to start on the Smith machine. It is really hard to get your balance right for this move, um, especially for a beginner. So every little helps and the Smith will really help you when it comes to learning your balance. Um, another tip is to start light. It is really hard um, to get good form and good depth on this movement with a heavy weight. Um, so definitely start with baby weights and only build your way up as and when you can. I always say when it comes to squatting to try your hardest to squat to depth, which means as low as you can, but do not beat yourself up if your range of motion isn't quite there yet, or if you're having a stiff, tight day and you can't really get like great range, it happens to all of us, just keep keep trying to get it. Um, I also say push up through your heel, so stay flat-footed, but you really want to push up through your heel to make sure that you're keeping that... Um, pressure kind of going up around your posterior leg hitting your glute instead of on your front leg and uh, really kind of challenging your quads. I also say mind connect mind to muscle connection is very real. Think about the muscle that you're meant to be using um, and it will really help you kind of mentally and physically engage it. As always for hypertrophy I always recommend that you exhaust the muscle by the sixth to twelfth rep um, and three to four sets. That was the Bulgarian split squat, and as you see, I really try and go as low as possible. Um, I really push up through that heel to try and get my glute to fire and take it off the quad and try and keep it on, on the, my kind of posterior leg on my glute. Um, and I definitely recommend doing it on the Smith because it's really hard in terms of balance, and I definitely recommend starting off really, really light because um, you are squatting on one leg. It's hard. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the hip thrust, which is also uh, on the Smith. Um, you can really do a hip thrust unweighted, uh, lying on the floor. Um, you can do a hip thrust using a barbell, using a kettlebell, using a dumbbell, using a weight plate. There are so many ways to do it. Um, it's really good with resistance bands. Um, I do it on the Smith because sometimes when I go into the gym, I'll just do like my whole lower body day on the Smith, um, just kind of saves time, keeps it all in one place. I'll do squats I'll do um a version of um of Romanian deadlifts I'll do split squats I'll do hip thrusts I'll do donkey kicks um and I really try and and kind of get my whole lower body day in on that machine if I'm short on time because it just saves me having to run around and you know I use the the same weight for pretty much all of it apart from the uh kickbacks and the uh split squats so anyway here is a uh, hip thrusts uh, on the smith machine so uh, hip thrusts are one of my favorite glute exercises it took me a really long time to feel them in my glute um, and take that weight off of my quads and hamstrings and I did that by changing my stance which I'll talk about in a second uh, first things first uh, get your butt directly under the horizontal bar whatever bar you're you're choosing um, and make sure you have a pad because it will hurt if you don't um, right this is what I said I personally need a wider stance and outward pointing toe um, and if I don't do it like this, I do not feel it in my quads, uh, in my glutes, sorry, I only feel it in my quads. Um, make sure that your shoulder blades are resting uh, across the bench at a height that is 100% in line with the rest of your spine and your hip extension once that 90 degree angle of the thrust has been achieved. So you want a really nice 90 degree angle. Um, thrusting into the extension, make sure that you thrust using your glutes. 
want to say that, and this is actually uh, one of the most important parts of the exercise, in my opinion, for my body, um, and definitely what I tell my clients to do. When you are at that full hip extension and you've really thrusted up using your glutes and you really need to think about that, guys, you're not just, you know, thrusting up kind of willy nilly with your with your hips, really use those glutes to fire up into the extension. And when you hit the peak of that extension, A, you want a really nice 90 degree angle. So remember that um, I personally find it really helps to tilt my pelvis slightly downward. That sounds like a weird thing to say. Um, it's something that only really occurred to me a few months ago and it's been really helping me really feel it in my glute kind of so I thrust up through my glutes and then at the top of that movement I just kind of I try and like tilt my pelvic pelvis down a bit while I'm really engaging my glutes and it really helps I just feel that burn just like whoosh, like go straight through them I think it's a really good tip and I don't know why um, I am not a muscle technician. Yes, that is a specific type of personal trainer and I am not that. Um, but I find that it's really helped me and it was just instinctive. I just tried it and it worked. Anyway, when you're at that peak um, of the hip extension and you're at a really good 90 degree angle, hold that squeeze for a second. Um, it has been proven that glute muscles in particular, I think more than any other muscle on the body, uh, really react well to um, an isometric hold. So just hold that position just for a second or two, really squeeze, engage them, and then you can allow your hips to come back down, take a breath, push again. Um, so that is what I recommend for Bulgarian split squats. Go low, push up through the heel, really think about the glute as you're doing it, really try and get that mind to muscle connection going. Um, and hip thrusts, uh, I personally, to get my um, glutes to fire, need a wider stance, outward pointing toes. Um, not everybody is like that. It doesn't apply to everybody. That's just me. So definitely feel free to kind of change around your stance and see how and where you feel it most in your glutes. Um, and I'm a really big believer in like holding that thrust at the top of the movement. And again, mind to muscle connection. Think of your glutes, engage your glutes, um, and you are much more likely to get a better bang for your buck out of the session. Um, okay, guys, so those are two of my favorite uh, glute exercises. And I will be doing more training videos um, in the coming weeks. Uh, and I also have a new fat loss phase update for you guys. All right, have a good one.